Hello everyone and welcome to Steve Knows. Today I will show you how you can play your Xbox Game Pass on your Quest headset so you can enjoy flat screen gaming and VR anywhere on the go. This method is super easy and I only discovered it after I went on this really long route of installing an Android virtual machine on my headset and then going through some weird loops so I can get Google Play onto the headset as well so I could then sideload the Xbox app onto the headset and it would recognize that Play existed and it would enable me to boot up the app and actually start using it. This was such a long process but it, there is some interesting things here having a Android virtual machine on the headset so you can play lots of games and titles that probably weren't accessible without doing so. So please let me know if you want to see that. But in reality, if you just want to play Xbox, all you need to do is install Edge or Chrome onto your headset and you can sideload that using an APK file. This does require you to have developer mode enabled though, or you can run ADB commands. So if you haven't got a side quest and you haven't set that up yet, I will leave links down below in the description so you can set that up because it is a requirement for this video. And if you're not aware of this, there's an entire world, an amazing world of free content just waiting for you to go and enjoy so definitely try and set that up and I'll leave links down below in the description so let's get started. Also there is a $100 Oculus Store giveaway down below in the description just enter down below subscribe to the channel for your chance to win. I do these very frequently so if you don't win this time there's another chance to try in a couple weeks as well. So I'm going to use Microsoft Edge because it's a Microsoft product, Xbox is Microsoft, just in hope that there's some sort of optimization here. So you need to get the Microsoft Edge APK file. You can do this by Googling it or I'll leave a link down below in the comment section or the description. And once that's downloaded, you want to boot up SideQuest, plug in your headset and just drag and drop that file into SideQuest so it installs it onto your device. Then you want to put on your quest, go to unknown sources, which is in your app section. Just click the filter in the top right and then go all the way to the bottom and you'll see unknown sources. If you don't see unknown sources, it's very likely that you don't have developer mode enabled. So once again, please check out that process. I'll link down below. So in the unknown sources section, you will see Edge. Simply click Edge and it'll open up a browser. In this browser, you simply want to just Google or visit the Xbox website and then go to the cloud section of it. Once you're here, you will need to look in the top right corner and sign in to your Xbox account. So you just log in with your account details, but you will require an Xbox Game Pass subscription, otherwise you can't enjoy the cloud services. So I'll link that down below in the description as well. If you've not set it up before, they are offering a whole month for just one pound. So once you're logged in, you can simply just click a game, boot it up and play through the browser. You can also resize the window so you can have a huge screen IMAX level if you so wish. There are some catches here though. Sometimes once you boot up, if you don't hear the Xbox boot up sound, then it's not going to load the cloud gaming service. So sometimes you need to go back and try again or refresh because sometimes it looks like it's not working, but just keep trying. Honestly, it will eventually boot up and you'll be able to enjoy it. But of course you can't play with the Oculus controllers, you will need to connect a new controller to the headset via Bluetooth or a wired connection. I went through tons of controllers wired and wireless to find one that worked because for some reason it maps in such a random way. This was the same when I was using the default application of the Xbox Game Pass on the headset as well as the browser as well. And I was unable to find the location where I can put a .kl file on the Quest so it can remap the buttons. But if you know how to do that or if you know the location of where I'm supposed to put that, please comment that down below in the description. But I did find a controller that actually worked. It's the original Xbox One controller, this black one. The new Xbox controllers and the PlayStation 5 controllers seem to have this really strange mapping. So there is going to be some trial and error. If you want to connect a controller via Bluetooth, just on your Quest, go to your settings, go to the devices and then pair a new device. So enable the Bluetooth on your controller and you should see it here pop up and simply just connect to it. If you want to take the wired approach, you need to find a USB-C connector so you can connect it to your Quest and then connect it to your controller and this works as well. They do sell these converters which are USB to these USB-C and they're incredibly handy, especially if you're using the original controller which is a micro USB, you may need one of these. 
So once that's all connected, you are now ready to play and enjoy some AAA flat screen games anywhere on the go with an internet connection. You can hotspot your phone, connect to a friend's Wi-Fi if you're around his house playing VR and you want to do some multiplayer on Xbox together, but there's only one console. This is great for that. Also, please comment any tips and tricks that you may know to improve the experience for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.